Hello guys, it's me, Charlie YDM. Welcome back to another video. And today we are back with another Tell Your Tale reaction. That's right, we are back reacting to these Tell Your Tale episodes of My Plane Generation 5. And yep, and today's episode we're going to react to is called Mysterious New Room by Jessica Silcox and Amy Smith. So this was just made a few days ago as I'm filming this. And um, I'm really looking forward to seeing this because um, I've been hearing from those people that this is a very beautiful episode to see. And I'm honestly, you know, yeah, really, really looking forward to checking it out. So yeah, now the original link's in the description if you guys can check it out before you start seeing this reaction where I talk over it. <laughs> and um, yeah, now with any further ado, let's begin. Who are you again? Oh God. He's right behind you. It looks like a zombie pony. What is that? <laughs> so we've got Misty watching that. In her room. What in? In living room somewhere. Wait a Watching a horror film that's not usually the best thing to do, but oh, <laughs> it's, it makes it even scarier. Oh. Like I watched my favorite horror film with the hole at that time of night. Where Where's the book going? going? Where's that book going? It's flying oh, like a butterfly. Gotcha. Oh, Where's it taking Misty? Oh, it's just going to some like magical portal shit. What's this? What is oh my god, there's pictures of the main six and shit. Oh, Sunny? Zip? Hello? Can anybody hear this me? This room looks very magical oh, no. indeed. Am I trapped? Don't panic, Misty. There's gotta be some. What's the theme tunes I'm hearing? The Crystal Bright House is your safe place. This definitely is beautiful. Look at these butterflies. I was talking about butterflies earlier because the book was the go butterfly. What is going? Oh, peanut butter everywhere. So watch when she presses them doors. It does all that to the um. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, don't you hear a fart joke? I hope not. What is happening? <laughs> Everything she presses in there is affecting at home. Yeah, you guys weren't lying. This is a very beautiful episode. So this is a mysterious new room. I'm really liking this episode. Maybe I really am. Magic book needs magic to open it. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. How can you not like it? There's a picture of the door, but what are these symbols? The symbols on the floor, that's it! Swirl, star... <laughs> and magic! I might seem a little quiet, but my strength is very real. When my cutie mark comes to life, oh my, my heart gosh. helps me feel. This place is for you to learn and to grow. The door will always be open for you to come and to go. <gasps> this you, is definitely voice. beautiful. Mysterious voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, look. Look, look at this. I'll be back soon, I promise. I want to learn everything. Ah, go. Whoa! Uh, Misty? Um, <laughs> did, did you just fall 
out of a magical door in the ceiling? Sunny, it was incredible! This magic book came to me and led me to a secret room. It showed me how to use my magic to get out, and it's gonna teach me spells! <laughs> Sorry about the crash landing, by the way. Misty, I've lived here my whole life, and nothing like this has ever happened before. Do you know what that means? What? Please tell me you believe her. The house is exactly where you're meant to be. You found your special place. I think you're oh, right. Oh, you got her in as well. I just got burped on by everything a started falling. What is going on? <laughs> now you've got some explaining to do. <laughs> oh my goodness me. So, mysterious new room. I haven't got much to say about this episode, really, but honestly, I think it's a really beautiful episode. Honestly, all this, like, you know, so obviously it starts off with Misty, you know, watching, I know, some horror film involving a zombie pony. But then she obviously sees this book that's obviously um, flying into this, like, special room where she will um, learn magic. And in that mysterious new room, honestly, it was beautiful. And, you know, when she was pressing the doors, everything was just, everything, um, you know, back back home was obviously fine, was flying all over the place. Honestly, the, that, that new room is just so beautiful, like, all, all the, um, the, the sparkly magic, and, um, the, the fact we've got to see, we've got to see a picture of the, um, of the Generation 4 characters and the main six and all that, I thought that was, um, an interesting thing to see. We need, we need, we need more of that. Oh my god, the mysterious voice as well, that was, um, that was interesting to hear. Honestly, but, but this is a very good episode, honestly, I, I really like it. There isn't much to say about it, really. There isn't much to, you know, talk about, but it's just a good episode, really. I just I just really like it, you know, all the, the beautiful magic and the frigging, you know, the, the book flying over the place and all that. It's just, I think it's a good episode, to be honest. It's just not much to talk about, really, but yeah, it's great. So, um, yeah, so this is a good episode. I don't know if I liked it as much as Opaline Alone, which is the episode Jessica Sil Silcox and Emmy Smith wrote, but honestly, this is a good episode nonetheless, and I really, really like it. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, play, subscribe, peace out, and think for yourselves.